Welcome my viewers and my listeners. This is Pastor Fronen celebrating my moment and let us make it our moment. We celebrate it with joy in the kitchen. Today is Thursday and I said I have to put up my socks in the year 2022. I have to keep the promise once a week. I'll be coming to you so that we can celebrate in the kitchen. The ones that I want to guide us, because I always say everything is covered in the word of God. I'm going to share with you, and I'll tell you why, Ephesians 5, verse 15 to 17, from, new, uh, from NIV. This is what it says. Be very careful, then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. New King James Fashion says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And I'll also say there, redeeming the resources, redeeming whatever you have, because they are not easily found. Things are scarce. You need to spread them well. Just like I saw somewhere else, somebody had posted in, the, in Facebook. It was so funny that uh, the world is short staffed. So, <laughs> treasure or appreciate those who show up. So also, every time we live, we have to know that we have limited time. Last time, I was showing you uh, the lemons that it's not that I have time. Personally, I'm a very busy person. And I remember I showed you lemons that I was washing. I washed them and cut them into pieces and I put them in the freezer. This one is frozen. They are frozen. They are in pieces. I had three containers. Now... I've also come to see, by the time I bread, I don't have the time. So this was, this is frozen. I have another container which was frozen, but I put hot water. You have redeemed the time. If you go and buy, remember I was telling you, you have to go back to my YouTube channel so that you can refer to what I'm saying. I had a bag of, of, of lemons that I had bought. I cut them and I did not cut them that time. I did, whenever I have the time, redeeming the time, that is my issue. Don't say you don't have the time. Right now, uh, I don't have the time. So, but now I just came to the freezer and took it. This is, I'm going to put it back. I just brought it so that I can demonstrate for you. You Then I put hot water. I had bored hot water. I have hot water here. I put it here. Now, this one, I'm going to put it and I'm going to drink. This is lemon water here. See? And because it is still cold since it was frozen, I'm going to add this hot water. I don't even have to put anything. I just drink. That's a cup. And I'm going to add some more. Then I can put a little later on. This is just to make it have that flavor. I drink. You put it the very fast. Now that I have shown you and it's there, I'm going to drink. I also realized that I had a banana. We don't need to waste anything. I carried it to work and I did not eat. Then I brought it here. I'm not going to throw it away. You can throw it away, but you don't need to throw it. I'm going to remove the label. This is for another time. But I can't, we cannot waste the time. We cannot waste the resources. By the way, the banana is very rich in potassium that balances your electrolytes. I said I'm not a doctor, only that I'm a keen person. So, this banana, I don't need to waste it. And I don't have time to bake what I need to do. But I can just cut it and put it. Put it aside. Now, you cut the very top part. Even the, 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 the outer part. The entire part. I cut it in pieces. Here, this I'm doing for you. Otherwise, and I'm going to keep it. And I'll be baking a banana bread later on. Or cake, whatever you call it. But not today. I don't have the time. So... We have to redeem the time. You put, you, you use your time well. I'm going to put it in this small cup, one cup bread I normally use for my, for my oatmeal porridge, not only for oatmeal. And I'm going to wash my hands here. And by the way, every time I come to the kitchen, I wash my hands. I practice uh, hard washing hygiene. Yeah. Don't worry, my... It's not very operational, but then let's see here. I'm going to wipe myself. Remember this I'm doing for you. That is a banana. The, the outer part, you know, you could have thrown it away. There's a lot of resources to throw away. There's a lot of potassium here. I'm going to add some more, uh, some more here. Then I'm going to bread it. When I bread, I'm going to keep it for another day. I, I can make uh, banana bread. Yes. 
We do that, to redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Remember, there's a time of celebrating in the kitchen, celebrating joy. You don't need to waste a lot of things. Why should I waste it? No. Now I'm going to blend it. Now that's done. That's done. I'm not gonna bake now, and I'm gonna just put it in a container, and I keep it aside, and I'll be done. This was not part of it, but because I wanted you not to waste anything, don't waste anything that you have. It's gonna maybe another time we'll bake uh, banana bread, but I'm not gonna make it now. I'm repeating now that so that you don't say you don't have the time. You always have the time. You know, another day I was making fun with somebody and I said, if you can have time to go to the bathroom, you always have time also that you can be able to eat well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that one is done. I'm going to keep it aside. Actually, let me put it right away in the freezer such that it gets out of my way. I'm done. So coming back to the lemon. I'm going to remove some of this stuff here because there's something I want you to see, to know. When we do all these things, we are doing it because you need to take care of your body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. For me to preach, for me to be able to work and be able to do the work of the ministry, it calls for me not to waste any time. Yeah. Giving the time because the days are evil as well as the water that I needed. Now, because I wanted you to see, the lemons, it's still frozen. Let me just remove some of this water and, okay. See, I cut the lemons in, in small pieces. That's what I froze. As I go, I learn new things every time. I realize that when I cut and put them in the freezer, then I put, uh, then I throw them with hot water when I want to drink and I'm in a hurry. There's another taste. I'm not going to, the first cup I don't put, eh, no nothing, even sugar or lemon, I, or, 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 sorry, or honey. I just drink it. If I want to make whatever I will be making later on, it is okay. But I wanted to show you, out of a lemon, you cut into small pieces, even with the outer part, and you put it away. And now that I have shown you, I can put it aside. You look around, what else can you use? I have apples here. They say that every apple, every day, keep the youth away from the doctor. My sister and my brother, we need to take care of this body. And the reason I do this self-care and celebrating in the kitchen is because we have the pandemic. They are saying now it is even worse. If it is worse, then you must add the gear of building your immunity. And I tell you, even though I do all this, I also take supplements. I'm going to show you here. Hmm. I have vitamin, I have, I take vitamin C. This is maybe when I'm not able to take all this, but I can still boost it. And but vitamin D, you feel so tired, take vitamin D. You feel like, and also, hmm, if you take yogurt, all those kind of things. I wanted us to know, or you to know, you are very important. Your children are very important. Your family is very important. The community is very important. The world at large is very important. When you are taking care of yourself, you'll be able to take care of other people. Life is not just about you. When I take care of myself and I build the immunity by taking this, I'm helping in my place of work. I don't have to call in because I'm sick. I also have B12. I also use B12. You can believe me, I do that. It jump starts you. It rejuvenates. It helps the, you know, the the the, the, oh, the formation or the strengthening of your red blood cells. And uh, this does not just come. You have to be determined. You have to spend some time. Right now, all this I do not need to do it or to show you, but because I love you, and I want you to build your immunity, whether you are vaccinated or not. Let us not be careless. Let us live wisely. Let me read those scriptures again. Because, you know, sometimes we get naive and we read the word of God. God wants us to be very practical in the way we live. It says, be very careful. 
Let me say this. Be very careful what you eat. Be very careful what you read. Be very careful what you say. Be very careful what, how, what you, how you dress. Be careful then how you live. Not as unwise, but as wise. Be wise. How do you get the wisdom? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I'm not just wise by my own. I am wise because of the word of God. Then it says, making the most of every opportunity. Don't waste any opportunity. And I added, don't waste any resources. Don't waste that banana. Don't waste it. And to tell you the consistency, this is oatmeal porridge. I went with it to work. Instead of carrying food, this is like food drink. And here I had put turmeric. I had put some cinnamon. I had put some honey. And I had put some lemons. That there, there is fiber. There is vitamin C. And I'm not praising myself that I also don't take... The, the, the <laughs> I, also take I also took half a bottle of Coke. So I, I'm not a dejo anyway. I also take some junk sometimes. But you don't have to mess your body all the time. Now it says... Because, let me read this 16 again. Be, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the, the will of the Lord is. You know, like now calling people vaccine for vaccine, for vaccine, for vaccine. I mean, it is for your sake. And also, when, personally, I'm fully vaccinated, but I still take care of myself. I put on a mask. If you come to my house, I have masked by the door there so that you don't have to give yourself reason. You Maybe I'm going to be like this. If you want to put it on, you can put it on, my brother and my sister. Not only that, have sanitizer ready to use. I have one. I put, I'm going to show you. Let me run. Hallelujah. We, want, we need to preach what we do. This is a container of sanitizer such that when you enter to my house, you can sanitize yourself. And I also have mask. So don't fear. If you want us to come and if you want to come and we learn how to cook together or to take care of ourselves together. Now, when you take such a cup in the morning, you can go and Google the health benefits of lemons. It will benefit you. It will build your immunity. May the Lord bless you and let us live. As wise people, do not waste any resources in Jesus' name. Another time I will show you how you can bake um, apples and they taste very good in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. It's not just games I come to pray here. But I'm praying that any person under the sound of my voice will benefit by putting effort on what they eat, on what they do. And especially during this time of pandemic, that our bodies will be able to stand when this fight has come we'll be able to fight it well when our bodies are well thank you jesus in jesus name amen and amen now it all starts with the personal identity for you to be able to love yourself to take care of yourself you must know you are not your own, your own that you belong to god you need to make that decision to follow the lord are you there you have never trusted the lord for you to celebrate every moment with joy and to know that every moment count you must know who you are mimi narijua mimi nani i know i am a child of god I, I, for i know who i am you must know who you are and whom you belong to. Do you want to say this prayer after me so that you can join my team of rejoicing all the time, not because everything is good, but because you know God is in charge. Do you want to say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus? I come before you. Thank you for reminding me that I'm fireable and you are, I'm owned by you. I give my life to you that I may be able to be eating well, to be talking well, to be sleeping well, to be communicating well, to be giving even my skills uh, well to other people and generously oh, write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you pray that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now you are going to start taking care of this body, the one we can see and the one we cannot see. You are mind by reading inspirational book and you are so by reading the word of God. I love you. Let us celebrate every moment with joy. And this was in the kitchen of Pastor Florence. Once a week I'll be coming to you. I was with you Thursday. I'll see whether I'll continue to do it Thursday or not. If I can't, I'll always make it up in Jesus' name. Pray for me that I'll keep the word. Thank you. And remember to subscribe to my channel.